We want to get you to a developing story here this afternoon. Florida bracing for Tropical Storm Elsa, as Larissa just mentioned, which could make landfall there as early as tomorrow. Now, as for today, the storm is expected to strengthen as it heads up the west coast of Florida. Omar Villafranca reports from Sanibel Island, where tourists have started packing up and heading home. Tropical Storm Elsa barreled across Cuba Monday, dumping about a foot of rain and slamming the island with around 60 mile an hour winds. It flooded towns and forced 180,000 people to evacuate their homes before turning towards Florida, where Elsa's wind started hammering the keys hours before the brunt of the storm even got close. <laughs> About 100 miles north on Sanibel Island, we found beachgoers already packing up as the potential for 50 mile per hour winds, flooding, and even tornadoes threatened to cut some vacation short. Is this going to hamper your plans? Or are you going to? It may around? hamper our plans. We were here since last Thursday, so we may head home a day or two early. Just because it's a tropical storm doesn't mean that it can't have a dramatic effect on our area. Further up the coast in Tampa Bay, people are filling up sandbags and stocking up on water bottles. We're used to preparing and that's something that that message uh, that we send out over and over and over is prepare to be on your own for at least 48 hours. In the town of Surfside, rescue teams battled powerful wind as they continued their around the clock search for victims at the site of the condo collapse. The large gusts shook trees and kicked up dirt and debris making it difficult to see as they sifted through the shattered concrete in the worsening conditions. Search crews in Surfside will only stop if there is lightning or high winds in the area. Here on Sanibel Island, they're expecting a four-foot storm surge. Omar Villafranca, CBS News on Sanibel Island, Florida.